First quarter action here at a cold and windy Moores Knowles High School, and the Golden Eagles strike first, but Shane Doherty with the dodge and the goal, and the Golden Eagles have a 1-0 lead over Morris Hills in this rivalry game. The Golden Eagles make it 2-0 here. Watch Andrew Yenisel work his way around. He feeds the crease, and Max Kleba is there for the goal, and Morris Knowles has the lead. 2-0 with 126 to go here in the opening quarter. Morris Knowles makes it a 3-0 game here after one period. Shane Doherty gets his hands free and he lets it rip for the Golden Eagles and they were up by three over the Scarlet Knights. We go to second quarter action and it's Morris Hills goalie Josh Burlaku with the save on the low angle shot from Parker Campbell to keep it 3-0 Knowles. Knowles would make it 4-0 before Golden Eagles goalie Chris Bartell makes the save here with under a minute to go in the quarter to keep it 4-0 as he finished with eight saves. And after the save, watch the great ball movement here by the Golden Eagles, and it's Parker Campbell with the finish to make it 5 0 with 46 seconds to go in the first half. Campbell wasn't through, however. Watch him take the feed from Logan Houston, and he scores, and it's 6 0 goals at the break. Now, watch this nifty goal from Andrew Yenisel as he flicks it over his shoulder for the goal, and it's 7 0 goals early in the third quarter. What a shot! Morris Knowles pushes his lead to 10-0 here, while Shane Doherty convert the blast for his third goal of the game, and the Golden Eagles are pulling away with the double-digit lead. Morris Knowles gets the running clock here, watch Scotty Wells with the good work, and his persistent pays off as he notches his second goal of the game, and it's 12-0 Knowles with just under five minutes to go in the third quarter. And Parker Campbell gets the hat trick here, as Morris Knowles would roll to a 14-0 shutout victory over Morris Hills, here at Morris Knowles High School. I think that we worked hard in practice and coach had us all prepared and we were all ready to play, so that's all there was to it really. It was just a great team effort. We prepared all week for it and uh, it was just a great defensive stand and offense was putting the ball in the back of the net the whole time. Well, number nine, Shay Darty, great shout out to him. I've been playing with him for years and he's always brings it, always hustles. Um, Andrew Yenisol, senior leader, captain, everything for our team. Um, and number 11, Dylan Lesh, captain as well. He, he hustles, never never stops, always gives everything he has. The third quarter, we always tell, tell him to come out uh, in the third quarter, and the first goal is the most important goal. And we really stress that when we're out there. And it sets a tempo, because when you're up uh, on a team, if you come out there and put a goal in right off the bat, it really, it really gets the team going. So we, uh, we stress that every time we're out there. Uh, talk up your goalie, huge shout out. Yeah, Chris I was really excited for today's game. Um, he works really hard in practice, and it just goes to show today. It was a great team effort. I couldn't have done it without my defense forcing great shots, easy to save, and they were just getting frustrated and throwing some uh, shots out from far away that I could eat up. Chris has been playing great. Um, you know, we had a tough loss against Newark Academy the other day. Um, Chris came back and responded. We rely on him a lot. He's a great kid, great cap uh, leader on the field, and uh, he did a great job. But you also got to credit the defense, too, for helping him out a lot. Um, the whole group of the de defense, Mike Forsyth, Jake Perzak, um, Murray, and uh, Patterson, along with the Albanese, did a great job on defense with him. Big rivalry win tonight. Talk about hopefully getting another W in your next game. Yeah, we have Menem coming up, and they're a really tough team, and it was nice to just get hills under our belt before we go into another big game so should come into play. We have a lot of momentum going with us. Right now we're four and one. We're doing well in our conference. Um, this was a big win after a tough loss against Newark Academy. We're looking uh, against Menem to come out and respond. We lost them in the States last year 13 to one. We're taking this momentum forward and we're, we're gonna come out and play our A game against them. Being home is great um, but we're gonna take this momentum further against them.